Shalom. Call the Holy Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. You know, just coming to this uh, article, you know, from RT News. You know, it's a basic updated article. <clears throat> and it reads U.S. jobless claims surge to record 6.6 .6 million amid coronavirus lock, lockdown. But so basically, what it's saying is that uh, uh, they record 6.6 .6 million people basically filing for uh, unemployment, pretty much. And that shows you what state that this uh, society is in. No, not only here in Babylon the Great, but throughout the world, because you have this, the whole world pretty much on lockdown, you know, because of this coronavirus. And and because of this coronavirus got the world on, on lockdown, pretty much, then you got people that don't have jobs. And if you like, if you're Jake, you know, you know, you got Jake's out there that, uh, you know, they live from paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, and they can't afford to miss a day out of out of work. You know what I'm saying? Because that day out of work is it will, it will cause them to fall behind. You know, on their bills or what have not. But since we are in this, uh, you know, quote unquote lockdown, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's hard for people to uh, maintain. You know, to pay their bills and to maintain a lifestyle but shows you that we are at the end of this society you see and especially here in babylon the great you know the city you know it's called a golden city but we know that this place is strategically being shut down by y'all by shin how shot well you know it's enough for me rain but we could just go and go ahead and go on with the article and this article again is off rt news and it reads, U.S. jobless claims surge to sit to record 6.6 .6 million amid coronavirus lockdown. And I'm just gonna show it to you right there, you know, off my, off my uh, tablet, showing that's the article right there. If you brought want to do a lesson, feel free to do so. You know, because uh, our job is to uh, feed the sheep or you how about sheep and how shot. You know, your house, I told Peter, if you love me, you'll feed my sheep. And that's what we're doing. We are one in the people according to the scripture. You know, I believe Isaiah 55, one goes to, you know, we should cry aloud and spare not, you know, blow up the trumpet. And that's what the, uh, that's what the prophets do, the men of the Lord do. They, they, uh, they blow the trumpet to warn the people about what's going on. But, uh, nevertheless, we, we're going to just continue on with the article. It reads, over 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits for the we in it March 28th, but we all know it's going. To, we all know there's more than that, but you know, just take it with a grain of salt. The number of claims had grown over, grown by over 3.3 million since the previous week. The release figures are much higher than the forecast cited by various media as economists expected the numbers of claims to stand at around four million which you know that's a lot gonna be more than that because you got to understand that that this coronavirus is closing having having business and stuff closed down you know they they even have a loss out about social distance distance and all this other stuff but uh you know let's just continue on with the article it reads in the week in in march 28 the the advanced figure for seasonally adjust initial claims was 6,648,000, an increase of 3,341,000 from the previous week uh, revised level, the, U the U.S. Labor Department said in a statement on Thursday. According to the agency, the latest figures, figures mark the highest level of seasonally adjusted initial claims in the history of the seasonally adjusted series. You know, <clears throat> and said the, the data was adjusted as all states reported a surge in claims for the previous week, with the lar largest increase seen in Pennsylvania, more than 300,000 Ohio and Massachusetts. Nearly 3.1 million claims were filed in the week ending March 21st, matching the 1982 record 
which init which the number of initially weekly filing would reach six hundred and ninety five thousand. The the record unemployment claim that it that hit almost ten million for the last two weeks of March come as the US bout the devastating impact of the coronavirus pandemic on its economy. Lockdown across the country has shut down many businesses and result in massive layoffs. The massive surge in jobless claims drove down the U.S. stock futures. However, key indicate key in well, I guess the indicates remain in in positive territory half an hour before the opening bell. The U.S. has the highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world, with over 216,000 people infected, out of more than 950,000 worldwide. And that's basically the reason why they, you know, the United States is, is claiming this coronavirus, you know, because we know that their economy, the economy of the U.S. is going to crash. And and what they done, they 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 did this, you know, saying so they could crash the dollar, you know, and and that way they can implement this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. And 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 uh, for you people there, you know, you yeah yeah, uh, you people that uh. You find unemployment and all this stuff, it's not going to do you any good anyway. Because first and foremost, these, these people are the ones that, that crash their, crash their economy. So that way they could push this mark of the beast with the RFID chip. And, and we know that the scripture says in uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, which we go into the scriptures a lot. It said, Woe to the habitants of the earth and of the sea. But the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because you have, he know you have but a short time. And the devil know they only have a short time to push out their new world order agenda. And and by them crashing the economy, it has you people in fear. It has you people in panic mode. You know, that's the reason why you got <coughs> you got these people out here, you know, they uh you know, they wearing masks and all this other stuff. You probably what all this have to do with the jobless claims. You know about this article. It has a lot to do with it because you have to understand what's going on behind the scenes. You know, it, and in the scripture told you that this gonna happen. You know, the, how about Shem how Shah told you that? You know, through his prophets in the scriptures that these things are gonna happen. And, and America is over 23 trillion dollars in debt anyway. So, so uh, in order for them to to basically avoid paying off that 23 trillion dollar debt, you know they they purposely crashed the economy. So that way they 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 won't have to pay off that 23 trillion dollar in debt. And 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 on top of that, they want to have you people chipped. And so that way that uh they can have permanent slavery in their society. Because they are pushing this uh, one world government, which is the new world order. You know that what that what it's about anyway. Like I said before, America is twenty three uh, trillion dollars in debt, and and we're gonna go ahead and get a scripture, and this is uh, Habakkuk chapter two, and we're gonna go ahead and start at verse four. It said, "Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith." Yea, also because he transgressed by why he's a proud man, not a keeper at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and heap unto him all people. And they're talking about this world war, one world government and you know, this new world order, which we got a lot of uh, you know, a lot of Jake's gonna gonna be willingly they're going to participate in that new world order because in, in the book of Apocrypha, you know, they saying that ever since they, uh, you know, they uh, became, you know, scattered uh, from their enemies, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, they saying they see more sorrow because they don't see any hope outside of this society, man. You're going to have a lot of these jakes, they're going to they're gonna take the mark of the beast. They're going to take the RFID chip. They gon' they gonna want they gonna want to be a part of this new world order because our people they can't see what beyond this society because they have so much stock and so much hope in this society that anything else outside it they they uh they don't believe it they don't believe that that the kingdom of heaven is gonna be for Jake 
they think that, that the kingdom of heaven is for everybody, which is not. And we already proved it already. <clears throat> Verse 6, it says that, Shall not these take up a parable against them, and a tongue proverb against them, and say, Woe to him that increase that which is not his, how long, and, and him that laid himself with the dead clay. And they're talking about all the debt that this society has to pay to these other nations. You know, as it, well as China, because because uh, China gets a, buys a lot of the U.S. Uh, uh, consumer products, man, and we get a lot of our business. You know, the U.S. does get a lot of the business from China. Basically, I believe seventy percent of the business that that we get is from China, and not since China on this, you know, quote unquote coronavirus. You know they hurt the business of the United States, and, and by the United States, the United China business being hurt and being affected by the coronavirus is also affect the United States. You see, now the United States are at a standstill, and, and they can't get nothing from China because of this coronavirus, and, and because uh, there's no work, there's no product coming in. Get what? It costs the people to lose their jobs because of this coronavirus. And now you got a lot of people that don't have, you know, work nine to five jobs. And now they don't have nowhere to work at. You got them filed for unemployment. You know, you got, and they, they saying that 6.6 .6 million people basically filed for unemployment. But guess what? We all know that there, there it, it's more to it than that. It, we already know there's more numbers than that. Because you got to realize that the United States is going to shut down right now, man. You know, you you have some jobs that are open, you know, for work and stuff like that, but the majority of these jobs are being shut down here in Babylon the Great. And you got people that are filed for unemployment. But sooner or later, if you know the unemployment is not gonna be able to uh sustain all these people, man. And guess what? All the money here is gonna run out. And and like I said before, they're gonna crash this they gonna crash this uh economy. And why they gonna do that? They're gonna crash it for the sake of uh you know, uh, pushing their new world order, man. Pushing this mark of the peace, which is the off right each year. And they're going to purposely crash this economy. And, and guess what? It, 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 it gonna, it's not going to work to their benefit. They kind of quick to say that, that, you know, they think they're going to have, they, gonna, they think they're going to be in good case. They think that they got their new world order in place. They think everything is going to, uh, it's going to take place, but, but how about seeing how Shah is going to throw a monkey wrench in their plan? You see, you're going to throw a monkey wrench in, in their new world order. And, 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 and you know, your house is going to come and take down the kingdom of Esau. Like, I, like we read in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, you know, the, he, the devil only has a short time. That's the reason why he's coming down with their great route. That's the reason why he pushing hard about this coronavirus because he knows he only has a short time to do what he needs to do. And, and, and he knows that Yahweh's not going to return and take him out of power. So he's going to try to make everybody here a, a, a permanent slave by taking this mark of the beast, which is the off ID ship. You know, but nevertheless, let's continue on with the scripture. It said, this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 7. It says, Shall, not, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? And the weight that shall vest thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast spoiled many nations, and where well, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the city, and all that the wealth therein. And, and that's how Esau got his, uh, you know, got all the wealth that he amassed, you know, by Ray Robert Burler, you know. That's, that's how, you know. All the nations are gonna spoil Esau Edom. That's you know it said it just said in the scripture that all these nations are gonna spoil them. You know, they're gonna spoil the miracle of Babylon the Great. You know, that's the reason why these other nations, they know not to fall in love with America of Babylon the Great. That's the reason why they come over here, they have jobs and they and they have business out here and they make their money and guess what they do? They leave and they go back to their own land. Because they because they, they are using America for what it worth. You see, because America is, is one big consumer uh, country. That's basically what it is. And all these nations are taking advantage of that. And they and they seeing that America is going down. 
and they saying that that America uh, in, in, in uh, the Golden City is, is ceasing, and, 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 and they see that uh, it, it, this place is going down down the toilet, you know, circling the drain pretty much. And all of a sudden now, in these other nations, they, they leave and they, they going back to their own country. Let's see, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. He reads, Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand. They made all of the earth drunken, and all the, and all the nations drunk of, the, of, of her wine. Therefore, all the, the, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for her pains, if so, she may be healed. For we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, let everyone go into his own country. For, for her judgment reaching unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And it's to show you that America, America Babylon, the great offense, man. And anytime you see an article like this that says, U.S. jobless claims surge to record 6.6 .6 million amid coronavirus lockdown, it shows that this country is finished, man. You got over 6.6 .6 million people recorded, you know, filed for unemployment. But we all know that it's gonna come come a time that that uh unemployment is gonna run out. And and, and uh it's not gonna support all these people because you're gonna have more and more people file for unemployment. And guess what? The, uh, that, that it's not gonna be enough money to support all this unemployment that's gonna take place. Uh you understand? Because because the most high is strategically taking down Babylon the Great. And, and you got, and, uh, and you have to uh, forsake this place, man. That, they like the scripture tells us. It says forsake her, man. I mean, come out of her, her uh, come out of her thinking, come out of her ways on how she conduct business, man. Because America, Babylon the Great, is, like I said before, it's 20, it's 20 uh, two, 23 trillion dollars in debt, you know. I may be wrong, your brother could correct me on that. He's over twenty-three trillion dollars in debt, and it's still rising. And, and that's the reason why I said that's the reason why they want to crash this economy, so the way they think they can wipe out this debt. And also, they they want to control the mass and control the people by urging this new world order, which is the you know, in the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. And they're going to use this coronavirus crisis, you know, to urge in a new world order. You know, I'm just speaking as a man at this point. And, and, and this, you know, this how I look, this, to me, this how, how, how it's uh, looking, how it's playing out. Yeah. And as you go on, you can, you can see that all these jobs are closed. And this is also prophesied in the scripture, you know, through your heart by Shem Shah through his prophets. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3. It said, any day when the keeper of the, of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall buy themselves, and the grind the seat because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, and the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up in the voice of the bird, and all the dogs of music shall be brought low. And also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because a man goeth to his long home, and, and the mourners go about the streets. And yeah, you see, you you see these celebrities are mourning and crying because because they they know that they no longer they they gonna start being irrelevant at this point, and, and uh, you know people gonna start not taking these taking these celebrities very seriously because these. Celebrities have been living our house law hall for so long, and and that will, and, and it, I'm just speaking as a man at this point. You know, it would not shock me at all if you start seeing your celebrities uh, filing for bankruptcy. You know, you're gonna start seeing about a mass numbers. They gonna be up here filing for bankruptcy, and, and, and they ain't gonna have no type of income. And that's the reason why they doing all these, you know, these challenges, all this stuff. They doing things to try to stay relevant. And these coronavirus is hurting their pockets as well. You know what I'm saying? They they so used to living in powerful powerful home. They don't want this society in, especially Jake. Jake don't want this society in. Why? Because they love it here. And, and how can you love it here and you know what I'm saying? You know, you out of a job, 
you know what I'm saying, you gotta go file for unemployment, which unemployment is basically pennies on the dollar. You know, you only gonna get barely, barely enough. You're not gonna get barely enough. It, you know, it's laughable at this point how much you get a week, especially you just a regular J man. And, and, and I think unemployment, you know, a week at the average is like 300 some dollars every, uh, uh, you know, every week. You know, it, it's laughable at this point, man. You know, it's very laughable at this point because you got to understand that this, this place is going down, man. We've been, you know, the prophet through God by she now shot and tell that these things are going to happen. But did y'all, did y'all listen? No, you, you, you cannot listen. You didn't bother me. The careless listen. You see? And, and now you got these things that are uh, coming up, man. Now you got, uh, these things that, that are coming up, and you got that, that the uh, economy is uh that is uh is crashing, and, and you got uh you got the stores are being shut down. You got people barring up, you know, putting boards and stuff on their windows and stuff. Why? Because they know that that this this that this society is finished, man. This society is finished, and and you got over oh, 6.6 .6 million people are fighting for unemployment. And, and this shows you what state that this society is in. But you know, we, we're gonna just close out right there. You know, I don't want to make the lesson too long. I believe the point has been made about this society and about the unemployment. And, and this is all through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah is strategically shutting this place down. And, you know, and that's it for a lesson. And I pray that it will edify. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh by Shem Al Shah by Shem Al Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe, worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing, Shalom, Ababa Ball, Tom Yasharala, Shalom.